the thing is in the next step in step three in the scenarios uh, when i when we go to the scenarios the default scenario um actually has um increase in coffee and it's not the case i, I don't know why it's increasing so high <laughs> at so ex rate this right here that's that's a good question uh for everyone as well uh, so why is their coffee increasing? So here, uh, we don't have an, in, an increase in, in area of coffee, but the, this 92% is an, in, an increase in production. And that may be because uh, if we go back to your coffee in step two, because of the age, so you see, Ah, okay. you, you've, put, yeah. you've, you've put that most of your plantations are 40 years old and they are uh, close to that age. They are rather old. So that means that during the lifetime of your simulation of your project, most mm -hmm. of this coffee is going to be replanted. So at the beginning of your simulation, most of it is old coffee with very little, very small productivity, low productivity. And in the course of a few years, during your simulation, ah, okay. it's going to be replanted and it's going to pick, the tool is going to pick the higher productivity that you have from year five to year 20. Okay, yeah. Mm. So maybe you also need to uh, review carefully this parameter. Is, is, it that, is it that most of your coffee plantations on that island are really uh, old? And close to yes. 40 years old yes. Yeah, yeah yes yes there is they are very old okay so in that case if they are being replanted you can expect uh realistically to have a huge increase in the production increase of 500 over percent of a uh, tree plantation so how do we explain this so should i click the result or uh, no, not yet. Uh, so okay. here, let's be reminded that these percentages on the left, they are the increases or the decreases in production, uh, not okay. in area. So the oh, area okay. change, you can see them from the visual and you mouse, as you are doing, you mouse over the visual right. and you get the, the surface, the carbon stock for forest. And if you go to the orange area on Old Palm, you get the surface and the production. But if you look at the percentages that are on the left with the little triangles, these are changes in production. And right. this is exactly the same phenomenon that happened with Anna uh, in Cabo Verde that here, you don't have a change, a drastic change in area for tree plantation, but you right. have a drastic change in production because of the yield profile that you have and the age of the plantation. So if that oh, doesn't okay. make sense to you, such a, an increase in production, you should review in step two, the age of your plantation and the yield profile. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can... Yeah, uh... Okay, so we should um, go back to step two, right? Yes, tree plantation. So you see you have a, a age of the oldest plantation, 47, and these are mature plantations. So they are rather old. And if, we, if you click on settings under economy. Okay, uh, you have just one year for the harvest of that plantation. So this plantation is just harvest, uh, harvested at your eight. So it means that between mm -hmm. the age of nine and the age of 47, there will be no... no production yeah. whatsoever. So you should review that Yelp profile. Is it, I, I kind of, I think I remember from last week that you said it is harvested also at your 12. There is some production at your 12. Yeah, so de depending on the species, so certain species, which is uh, usually used for pop and pepper, eight years, and then some for furniture, 12 years. 
So on the very same land, it will be different use. So I think that's how the company manage their plantation. So how do we put that here? So the last year of, of harvest would be year 12. Would that be right or? Yeah, year 12. Okay. And there are only two harvests, right? Year eight and year 12. Correct. So your nine, 10 and 11, you should put the productivity at zero by bringing down the small uh, green dots. Uh, not Oops, here, sorry. eight. If you scroll up, yeah, here, those green dots, not, not, the, not this one because this is your eight, but your nine, 10 and 11. You know, this, this graph was designed for the perennial crops that normally produce every year. So for a timber plantation like this one, um, it's a bit, you know, strange, but you, you can still use it. Is it possible that I change the, uh, what do you call the header? Because I mistakenly put it under um, perennial crop. No, no, you did, you did right. Because this is, a, this is a timber plantation. So you want to know how, how much timber you're going to get, right? Correct. If you, yeah. were, if you had put it, because we talked about that last time, you said it would be an acacia plantation. Uh, mm -hmm. if you want, if you were, if you had put it under the forest category, um, you couldn't get the data on the production. You would get data on the forest benefits, the carbon and all that, but not on all the right. timber production. Right. Okay. The only thing that here to me seems very strange is that you still have 47 year as the age, the maximum age of your plantation while if you say it's a, it's a private business, uh, why would the company maintain the plantation after year 12 for another 30 years without any harvest? Okay, so I misunderstood because I was uh, referring to the um, age of the area, I mean, when they first opened. Right. Up until now, yeah, so. Yeah. So, so it's now, supposed to be, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, that's the tree, not not the concession, not the not the land. So yeah, now you can um, you can save and let's go to scenarios and see if there is any any change to your percentage. Wow, yeah, so less uh, production. So now it's more or less stable. I mean, you have a minus six percent, which maybe it's not really correct. You can still adjust your, mm -hmm. your step two, but at least right. you are seeing that, you know, it's a fairly stable uh, sector. sector. Uh, at least under this assumption that there is no real increase in areas, there is a slight increase uh, in areas and we can see that together. It's a good reminder for step three. So you see there is a slight increase in area. And why is that? I'm asking you, yeah. uh, Nico, or anybody else from the team. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Huh? Um, well, is that due to the demand for more timber products? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, in the um, in the land use planner, the, the factor that you know is a proxy for, for demand or uh, is that we use here by default is the population growth. So you have here 1.4 population growth rate. And if you click on the flower of next or the gear icon, which is next to your tree crop plantation. Uh, Sorry, come again? If you scroll up, here yeah. you have a flower or gear icon. If you click on that, yeah. you see that uh, you are reminded about the population growth rate, which is 1.4. And in this case, the tool- It's half. Proposes you half of it. So yeah. 0.7, uh, but you are free to change. If you think that your tree plantation will not increase with population growth, in a default scenario with no intervention, you can put zero, it's up to you. Or if, right. you, if you think that, you know, 
indeed, in fact, it's going to increase much more rapidly with population growth. You can put a higher percentage. I don't think it will be expanding. Okay, because, so yes. Yeah. yeah, because I think palm oil is more profitable than this. Yes. Okay. So if you put zero, you don't have to worry about what's below because there is no expansion. Just right. save. Save. Yeah. Oh. So Oops, your yeah, your production is reducing overall because you know you had minus six percent before with including the slight increase in area. Now that you have a stable area, um, your production is more decreasing because of this old aspect of the of the plantation at the beginning, which you may need to review if that's not the case. Right, okay. Yeah. So we really recommend that uh, before going any further in the tool, you review every of this, each of these um, flower icons. So your old palm, for instance, uh, here, Quick question, why is it at 1.4 and not at 0 0.7? It's good to see it together now. Uh, so you have 1.4 here because you must have clicked on in step two for all palm that that was an important crop for the local food autonomy or food security. Uh, is that right? Can we check it if you aren't sure? So in step two, all palm uh, settings. No, sorry, it's must be. Okay, it only displays if you scroll up. You need to reselect uh, select crop. All palm. Okay, here you have the food security button that reappears. Normally, when you first created your crop, it was there and you clicked it. If it was clicked by default, it's because you marked it from your workspace for that crop and, and farming practice. So if you were to unclick that, don't, don't do it, huh? you can leave it. But if you had unclicked that, the, the expansion rates would be half of the population growth rate. Uh as it was the case for your tree plantation. So you can cancel that. Let's not uh, mess your, your data here. If you scroll down, you cancel. You go back to scenarios. And your old palm, you can uh, click on the flower icon. And here you can just review that number. Is it realistic that this old palm is going to expand at the rate of the population growth rate. If not, you can just change it.